Good evening and welcome to the Femi Awards. I'm Tina Wilson, president of the Under Fashion Club. For this year's event, we wanted to convey a feeling of positivity, light, and fearless energy. Beginning with our invitations illustration by my good friend, the internationally renowned artist Bill Donovan, and culminating in our coming together tonight as a community. As an organization, the Under Fashion Club is moving forward, and you will see great things from us in the next few years. Our new website launched in January, and soon there will be opportunities for webinars and more diverse and timely presentations, as well as programs to help our members who are transitioning in their careers. We are living in complicated times for our families, our industry, our country, and our planet. Ultimately, as individuals and members of this great industry, we must adapt and navigate through the challenges. I believe we can succeed, guided by our commitment to a better future, without fear. Collaboration is the new buzzword, and I encourage you all to find a collaborator amongst your peers in this audience. This is a perfect time to mingle and plant the seeds of innovation and growth. First, I would like to recognize our most esteemed honorees, Walmart, Tommy John, Soma, Dorothy Galligan, and Bob Vitale. Thanks to them and this evening's sponsors, fun contributors, and student design contest supporters, we have already committed to distribute over $243,000 in scholarships, awards, internships, and grants this year. I would also like to thank Soma for donating the special fragrance on each of your place settings as a memento of this evening. And don't forget, tonight you are welcome to take home the floral and fruit centerpieces on each table. Last but not least, I would like to thank and con congratulate this year's Femi co-chairs, co Tristine Berry, Sonia Winther, and the committee members, most notably Rosa Chamides, Christina De Jesus, and Linda Elton. Kudos to SAGE co-chairs Consuelo Garcia Robles and Sonia Vizcaino Laney. and the entire SAGE committee for their exceptional efforts in connection with the student design contest. And to Karen Koopman, our administrator for all she does. She keeps us all sane. Okay, so, revolutionary art rock, new wave goddess Nona Hendrix is a celebrated vocalist, record producer, songwriter, musician, and author. Tackling social issues, love, and politics, Hendrix's legendary career spans decades of sound and style evolution. Nona's fans know her as one of the groundbreaking group LaBelle and their number one worldwide hit, Lady Marmalade. The songwriter Hendrix came into her own as a solo artist post LaBelle. Nona is an ambassador for artistry in music for Berklee College in Boston. She is currently curating and performing in a production she created for the Metropolitan Museum, Nona Hendrix and Disciples of Sun Ra in the Temple of Dender on February 29th. I'll be there. And composing new music for the revival of Blue, a play with music, 
directed by Felicia Rashad at the Apollo Theater, previewing in April, with a limited run from May to August. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Nona. I've gotten to know her a little bit over the last couple of years, and she's an amazing human being, and I'm honored to have her here. Nona? That's for you. I didn't touch it. Good evening. I have on an undergarment, just so you know. Uh, this is amazing. Thank you so much for uh, inviting me, for having Tina invite me to be your host or one of your hosts for the evening. And I'm going to try and speak very clearly because I can hear that the room is quite boomy. And I want to make sure that we get everyone's names, everyone's awards, all of their information out to you and correct. I'd like to thank my friends who've come tonight and my very special, who's sitting at the table with Tina. We have Joanne Chase, who is a very special friend of mine. <laughs> Worked with the Obama administration. Uh, yes, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> and we also have Irene Gandhi. Uh, we call her Miss Broadway. She is one of the most successful, most famous uh, PR people with Jeffrey Richards. And then the m most amazing kind of person I've known for a long time, and she, like I, used to wear undergarments on top of our clothes when we performed on stage, Cindy Lauper. And I, the undergarments that I used to wear on top of my sort of bodysuit, you know, they were called suspenders at the time, and I would have tights and stockings and all kinds of things and bras on the outside because I thought they were more interesting than what I was wearing. So thank you to all of you who were responsible for creating some of the clothes that I wore on stage and didn't know it. I'd like to now start with our celebration announcing the first award of the night. It is with great pleasure that I present the Retailer of the Year Award to Walmart and accepting, <laughs> accepting on behalf of Walmart is the Divisional Merchandise Manager for Ladies, Intimates, and Sleepwear for Walmart US, Birch Schultz. Good evening. I'm honored to be here tonight and grateful to accept this award on behalf of Walmart. I would first like to thank the Under Fashion Club. We are honored to be recognized by such a great organization and appreciate everything they do to support the intimates industry and its future leaders. I'm especially grateful to all of our supplier partners, many of which are here in attendance tonight Thank you. We would obviously not be able to deliver great products and serve our customers without you. I would like to thank Bear Necessities and the Walmart e-commerce team for their partnership and alignment in moving the business forward. Thank you to my manager, Deanna Baker, Senior Vice President of Walmart Apparel for your leadership and support. I would especially like to thank our buying team and the entire cross-functional intimates team for what you do. You guys are fantastic and thank you. We have fantastic merchants and they're even better people. Also, thank you to my wife, Jennifer, who is in attendance tonight. Thank you, Jen, for all your support. And I am very proud of the work that we are doing as it, as it pertains to social responsibility. We are ahead of our corporate goals on sustainability efforts as it pertains to utilizing 
recycled fabrics, and using 100% sustainable cotton. We have made, thank you. We have made great progress in size inclusivity and serving a broader customer base. Responsible sourcing is at the core of the product development and is so incredibly important to us. We want to have a positive impact in all of the communities we serve, but also we want to have a positive impact in the places where we source product around the world and domestically. Thank you. And then finally, I'm proud, very proud, of providing access and availability. I am so proud of making quality products available to all of our customers' demographics and providing access to high quality, intimate products at a great value. Thanks. It was our founder's mission, and the Intimates team at Walmart is laser focused on this mission. In closing, I would like to leave you with a quote from our founder, Sam Walton. This quote came to the end of his life when he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President George H.W. Bush in 1992. If we work together, he said, we'll lower the cost of living for everyone. We'll give the world an opportunity to see what it's like to save money and have a better life. Thanks again. Congratulations. So, Cindy, who knew about this intimate apparel thing? Yes, absolutely. Yes. I'll get Cindy to come up and say that herself shortly. So, the next award is for Brand of the Year. Yes! And it goes to Tommy John accepting the award is Tommy John's founder, Tom Patterson, and co-founder, Aaron Fujimoto. I feel like this is the Heisman Trophy for underwear. <laughs> well, I... I I can't tell you what an honor it is to be here and, and win such a prestigious award. And you know, a, a big shout out and thank you to the Under Fashion Club for putting on just an incredible event, bringing us all together here in such a beautiful place on this cool summer night in February. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, looking around the room, it's, we're, we're surrounded by iconic brands, the biggest brands in the world, the biggest companies, some of the best suppliers. And, Many of you guys have become partners of ours and are such a big part of why we're here tonight winning, winning this award. And, and few, a few of you were actually the earliest people that really believed in this vision that we had for Tommy John almost 12 years ago. And, and this, is not, this wasn't in our vision, winning this award tonight. You know, when Aaron and I started Tommy John in, in 2008, neither of us really had any business being in the underwear industry. We had no background in product or manufacturing. I didn't even know what markers or grading were. You know, true story, we didn't even use a professional, a professional fit model or, or, <laughs> or, or, or know what a technical designer was until year three. So, so we didn't know what we didn't know. I don't, I'm not even sure if we still know what we're doing. Uh, but you know, during the first few years of business, you know, we were, privilege to bring in a lot of really great talent. Almost had to beg people to come in. 
to work at Tommy John and you know being introduced to amazing partners like you guys who believed us believed in us from day one um, we can't thank you guys enough and I would say over the almost last 12 years um, we've I've, I've become equally as proud of the brand that we've built and want to thank each and every one of you especially a big shout out to the two tables of Tommy John and some of our biggest big partners over there where are you guys We wouldn't be here without all of you, so thank you very much. <laughs> so Tom kind of talked about how we stumbled through our early years, um, but we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about our more recent years. So in 2018, uh, less than two years ago, we, after 10 years of being a men's only brand, uh, we launched our women's division. And it was a very... <laughs> very pivotal year for us. Um, we launched with a small assortment of women's underwear and camisoles and we, we sold out of six months of inventory in six weeks. So the feedback was tremendous. Um, and then in 2019, you know, we wanted to carry that momentum and even though everybody warned us that bras are the most complex product you can make, uh, we decided to do it anyway. And in September, this past September, we launched our first bra capsule. And um, so a lot of exciting things. Um, our success at Tommy John has definitely not been because Tom and I are the most savvy business people, nor are we the most talented in this industry. Um, it's 100% because of the people who surround us. And I want specifically our Tommy John team to please stand up, every one of you. <laughs> this is just a small sampling of our team, but these are some of the hardest working, most dedicated, um, employees and team members, and I'm honored to call them my team. Um, but thank you all for this beautiful night. Uh, the Under Fashion Club, our suppliers of factories who've supported us along the way, our Tommy John team, our partners, everybody here. Thank you. We're honored and humbled. Congratulations to you. Our next uh, award, and I have a sneaky suspicion that I gave the first award to the other award. <laughs> I think we will switch them up later. Sorry about that. So don't walk away with that award. No, nope, I did it right. Oh, good, good, good. You can keep that award. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. The next award is the Innovation Award, presented to SOMA. Accepting the award on behalf of SOMA is Mary Van Prague, president of the Intimates Group of Chico's FAS, Inc. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. I feel such a great sense of pride to be able to speak to you at this wonderful event tonight. First, I want to thank the Under Fashion Club for this incredible honor, which validates the hard work, attention to detail, and I'm sure always welcome input from me that my team at SOMA has accomplished to push innovation boundaries in the women's intimate apparel market. Innovation has been a part of SOMA's DNA since 2004 when the brand was founded. We're a company that is for women, by women, who are focused on creating innovative products and experiences that are transformative and uniquely personal. We've been listening to and creating comfortable solutions for women for 15 years. 15 years of innovation, 15 years of evolution, and 15 years of true bra fit expertise. SOMA's innovation extends through our customer experience and service. Our approach is to gauge with customers through meaningful ways and ensure that we f they feel we're trusted advisors. In this highly dynamic market, we're continually striving to deliver better. We're always asking, can it be more comfortable, easier, smarter, faster, or just plain better? From product to experience to service, what can we do to deliver the very best? 
This past year, we pioneered several first-of-their-kind innovations as part of this quest. This included the development of Soma Inafit, the first ever smart fit bra built to measure a woman's perfect fit, even in the comfort of her own home. It's a fit bra, an app that recommends the perfect five-star Soma bra. We launched at the Consumer Electronics Show as the first intimate apparel retailer to ever have a tech presence in that space. As a result, we now have over 30,000 five-star reviews and a 90% bra fit satisfaction rate. We are a customer first. Thank you. We are a customer first organization and listen and react to her feedback. By recently conducting a survey on women's sleep habits, we informed insights on what women need to get a better night's sleep and how what she wears to bed could support that. And our cool night's pajamas have been a resounding favorite. We're also creating innovative vehicles to engage women with Soma in meaningful ways, like the creation of our very own National Family PJ Day and our anniversary bra event. These joined with customer-focused innovations already in action, such as our award-winning 2200 in-store boutique bra fit experts and our new Vanishing 360 bra and panty collections that smooth women from every angle. Our collection of post-surgical bras inspired by real breast cancer survivors and more are putting Soma at the forefront in the market. And to top it all off, we're making significant expansions to both our product lines and the overall business in 2020. We are bold in our vision of a better world, better versions of ourselves, better communities, and better products and experience that truly make a difference. For Soma, the most important part of the innovation process is to stay true to our brand ethos. Every day, my team comes to work believing that they can make a difference in women's lives. We strive for continuous improvement and innovation, and we believe that's led to our success. On behalf of everyone at SOMA, we thank you again for this incredible honor. We're very proud of what we have accomplished so far and can't wait for you to see what we have ahead. I'll say congratulations again. Uh, to all the honorees, and I think maybe I should clarify something for those who, when, I, when Tina was doing my introduction, she told you about a little bit about me and about the group I was in called LaBelle, and the song, our biggest song called Lady Marmalade, which most people know as Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? And most of you probably boogied to that at some point in your life. <laughs> yes. So may, maybe we'll all have a sing-along later. If you know the lyrics, only if you know the lyrics. All right. So now we're going to take a break for dinner, and we will be back in 25 minutes with the Industry Icon and Lifetime Achievement Awards. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs>